Hello everybody, and how are you doing today? Oh, you are? Oh, I am so glad to hear that. And me, you ask? I am doing just spiffy. I am wonderful today. The weather is really nice here in England today. We are partly cloudy, but with lots of sunshine in between the clouds to give us 20 degrees Celsius. That's about 68 Fahrenheit. Not bad at all. Oh, but what about my friend Father Ludovic in Verona Diocese, you ask? Hmm. Well, he reports 29 degrees Celsius today. That's 84 degrees Fahrenheit. And they expect a little rain this evening. So, he's not doing too bad. It has cooled down from that 34 degrees he had last week. Hmm. Some people have it really rough, don't they? <laughs> so, where am I off to today, you ask? Well, last week I went down the peninsula of Indonesia between Jakarta to the beautiful island of Bali. This week, I'm over in the United States of America. I was asked by a YouTuber by the name of Conductor Hall to go between Minneapolis and Denver. He says he lives in Minneapolis now, and he pointed out that Denver has some really magnificent mountain scenery. Oh, yes, it does. And the airport, Denver Airport, is also at quite a high elevation. Now, there has been some storm activity around that area, so we'll have to see what we get today. But yes, that is where we're going to go to today. So, does that sound all right? So, good. Then let's go on over and do the pre-flight and see what windy.com what flight aware and make our flight plan in sim brief shall we do that okay well here we are on flight aware i've looked up delta flight 1258 or dal 1258 as you can see here this particular flight arrived over nine hours ago at gate A29 in Denver. It left gate F6. We'll try to do the same thing. Gate A29, we'll also try to find that in Denver so that we can park exactly the same way. Now, looking at the flight details, taxi time, Oh, it was 17 minutes. That's a long taxi. Well, anyway, we'll have to see what happens. Now, down here, as you can see, there is some weather activity. And there's some red cells there. So, I don't know which direction this is moving in yet. The arrow suggests it may be this direction, but we shall have to see. For the altitude they flew on this particular flight nine hours ago at flight level 340 we may end up getting the same thing over here the actual distance is 607 nautical miles and you see this that is the standard route all the flights actually do this same route between these two points. 
The only things that will change will be the said, the instrument departures, and the stars, which of course are the uh, instrument arrivals. So we'll have a look at all of that in just a moment. So this is what, what we'll be doing. We'll be following this route. Now, looking over at St. Paul and Minneapolis, here we go. The wind is pretty much coming from a northern area, northern direction. It says it's at 030 at four knots. Visibility is 10 statute miles. No clouds under 12,000 feet and definitely VFR. Temperature is, oh, it's a cool 13 degrees. Well, 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 13 degrees. Well, we are better off than they are. Now, looking at the runways, chances are that we'll be departing then on runway 04, perhaps. We'll have to see. There are a lot of runways. I'm not going to, I'm not going to make a bet on this one. Last time I made a bet, it was wrong. So best to wait until the flight plan is filed and we get there and then we'll know. Over here in Denver, and here's where the airport is. Here the winds are 190 degrees. Oh, it's just a little bit uh, south-southwest and it's at 14 knots. Visibility is 10 statute miles. Clouds are scattered at 18,000 feet. Well, temperature is 22 degrees. They're warmer than we are. That's not bad at all. So that's going to be interesting because at that altitude, Air density is also a factor for landing. Let's look at the runways. And here you can see there are lots of runways here and they're in all the directions. Which one? Well, that's a good question. We don't know which one will be assigned coming in for landing. We'll just have to make our flight and then adjust accordingly as we get clearance to land. But at least we know it's currently VFR. Looking here at Minneapolis, I'm just going to click on this one. Ah, this one departed from that runway. So that's it. If that's what they're using, and that's the Southwest uh, Airline that just now departed. We, we may get the same one. But this is just an extra little uh, resource. All right, let's go in now and make our flight plan. We are Ryanair. We are 186. We are departing from KMSP, KMSP, and we're going to go to KDEN, and there's the alternate it's given us. We are Ryanair, there's our airframe, is a B737-800. Cruise profile is six, here's our registration. It says the scheduled flight time is two hours and 20 minutes and it is on runway 04. So that's the same runway that we just saw the Southwest Airlines flying out of. Passengers, we are full naturally. Cargo is one ton of very fine champagne caviar and all the posh biscuits that go with it. 
And surprise, surprise, there's the routing. And here is our route. Now let's go ahead and save this and click to generate the flight plan. We have been given the same cruising altitude as the previous flight of 340. Airtime is 1 hour 38, block fuel 7728. Planned optimum flight level is what the dispatcher remarks are. And there's the route. Now let's just go down and have a look at the details here. Reserves 2381, trip and taxi is 4671. Average wind is over here, 311 at 50. I'm going to go and zoom all the way down now to have a look at the weather and there is, it looks like a frontal movement moving across the US at that particular point, but we're not going to be experiencing anything untoward. But here we are at flight level 300 and it's going to be crosswind with a slight headwind. And here's our flight altitude, 340. Here you can see definitely crosswind all the way into Denver. And a higher altitude doesn't give us anything better. This is showing C KCOS, which is our alternate. And here, climbing up, top of climb, and then all the way down to Denver. And look at this. The elevation of the ground really moves up on that one. Right, we're all set. Let's then go into Navigraph and put this together. Well, here we are in Navigraph charts. So, Click on Flights, New Flight, from SimBrief, and here we are using the one that we have just made. I'll right click on this and then left click on Open the Charts so that I can bring in the airport information, parking gates and parking gate coordinates. I'll need those, uh, that information. And show the chart here. This is the departure chart. So I'll pin that. And it says that we're going to be departing on runway 04. So that's, that's not bad. Over here, I'm going to open the charts list, go to the airport, put that in. Now we need to look for gate A29. So we'll be coming in then on concourse A. Hopefully we will try to park where they park, which is right here, A29. We'll see whether or not that actually works out. We're coming in on runway 16 right, according to that. So we'll go down here and select ILS runway 16 right. But we also may be coming in on the 16 left. We don't know, but I'll put that into the bottom so it's there just in case. 
Our star is the Alley 2, so let's show that and bring that in. Okay, and we'll be coming in on, well, if we're going to be at the top, and we're going to be coming in on, I would suspect we may be ILS 16 left. That would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? To come in on 16 left. Or, well, 16 left, 16 right. Don't know. But I've got 16 left at the minute. We can always change that. Right. Now that we've got this, let's go on into the cockpit and get the cockpit all prepared. Come on in, take your seat. We're off to Denver today. And here we are in lovely, sunny Minneapolis, St. Paul. We're at stand F8, exactly where we wanted to be. We were able to get it, which is good. We have the fuel already on board and we're making an afternoon flight to Denver courtesy of Conductor Hall, as his name is on YouTube. So, if you're set, oh by the way, this is magnificent scenery here. It's very highly detailed. It's by Flight Beam Studios. Incidentally, the Denver scenery, when we get there, is also by Flight Beam Studios. So let's turn on the battery. Let's put on the fuel pumps and start the APU. Yes, this is uh, detailed and I'm looking at my frame rate. I'm not doing too bad. Actually, I'm at 24, 25 on the frame rate on the external screens. And those are the ones handling all of the real high detail. This is, uh, yes, yes, this is quite good, quite good indeed. Right, the engine gas temperature has risen and now it's starting to drop. When it drops to about here, then this blue, this light will come on blue and then I can switch from batteries to the generator. There it is. I am now on 115 volts being generated by the auxiliary power unit in the tail of the aircraft. So turn on the galley, turn on the emergency exit lights, no smoking, seat belts, turn on the IRS to get it aligned. And then over here, turn on the window heat left and right, probes, electrical hydraulic pumps, forward service hatches open, the equipment, that's the air stairs is down. Now I'm going to turn on the bleed, which means I'm going to get the air conditioning running into the cabin. And there it is. Okay turn on my steady light. Now we are set to put in the information that we need into the IRS. So here I'm going to push position. We are KMSP. So KMSP. And according to the chart, we should be 44, 53, 0, and 93, 12, 9. Well, that's this one. So we'll just go ahead and put that one right in. Go to the root. So we'll put back in the KMSP. Destination KDEN. K 
DEN. We're flight number Ryanair RYR186. Go to next page and then we go direct to ONL. So ONL. And it's the top one. Then we go direct to POD, PORDR. So PORDR. Activate. And that's got that. Go into fix. And we'll put in KDEN. And we'll want four miles, we'll want 10 miles, and we'll want a 30 mile set, uh, radius. Going to descent, we'll put in the information for these three flight levels. The Q&H right now at our destination is 1017. The wind aloft at 200 is 314.22 at 150 is 315 at 25 and at 100 it is 281 at 16 execute that now we need to check with the tower find out what our runway is going to be. So let's go and get our... Minneapolis, clearance delivery, Ryanair 186 IFR2, Denver International, ready to copy. Ryanair 186 is cleared to Denver International Airport as 5, fly runway heading, climb and maintain, 12000, departure frequency as 126.5, squat 0125. Ryanair 186, clear to Denver International Airport, as filed, fly runway heading, climb and maintain, 12000, departure on, 126.5, score 0125. Ryanair 186, red back correct, contact ground on, 121.8. Well, we have our clearance, I've got the initial altitude in of 12,000 feet. So now let's go ahead and get our ground clearance tune into the ground frequency and Minneapolis ground Ryanair 186 we Quebec ready to taxi IFR Ryanair 186 taxi to and hold shorter runway 12 right using taxiway Bravo Delta Alpha Alpha 10 contact tower on 11 point minor 75 when ready Taxi 2 and hold short, runway 1, 2, right, using taxiway, Bravo, Delta, Alpha, Alpha, 1, 0, Ryanair, 1, 8, 6. Well, we're cleared to 1, 2, right. Wind has changed, and we are still going to be leaving on the Ship 9 departure, I believe. Yep. So we'll put that in. And then our arrival is still planned for 16 right and it's going to be the alley 2 arrival. Execute that. Now we'll go to legs and just check what our connection is here. So going through and stepping so there's the first discontinuity and there's the second one, we'll bring that in and that has brought us all the way in, that's a good plan, alright. Now we'll go in, perform the initialization. We already have our fuel on board. And reserves at 2,381. The trip and taxi is 4,671. 
making a total of 7,052 or 7.1 rounded out. Reserves 2.4. Let the calculator take place. With cost index 6, we're 340 on that. The cruise wind is 311 at 50. And our transition altitude is 180. Execute that. 16 degrees at Minneapolis. We will be 10 degrees on flaps. There's our center of gravity with the weight that we have and there's our trim. So we'll put this into the MCP. So 146. And if we're leaving on runway 1 to right, then that's 121 degrees. And one, two, one here as well. There we go. Now we'll just check, make sure that we have a good flight plan. We have green. We're looking good on that. Everybody's on. We'll close the hatch and bring up the electric stairs. And then we'll ask the nice people on the ground to give us a pushback and we're going to turn the nose to the left by 90 degrees and okay now let's carpet to ground Air conditioning is off. We've been cleared for push and start. Tail to the right. Copy that. Ready for push tail right. Police burn right, please. Parking brake is off. We're going to start engine number two today, so I'm switching to generator two. As soon as we start moving back, air conditioning is off. Then I'll switch this to ground here we go there we are switching to ground the start valve light has opened up we're watching for 14 on this it's got not 14 24 I should say 24 oh no oh, there's quite a bit of uh, traffic here look at all of the baggage now putting in the fuel should start to hear the engines catch in a moment but we'll be looking for 115 volts up here the engine gas temperature is rising very nicely low pressure oil pressure light has gone out and we have ignition there it goes you can hear the engines now Right, switching now to engine number one. Low start valve has opened up. The engine gas temperature is rising a little bit. The N2 showing here is climbing when it gets to 24. And there's 24. Push back complete, brake please. Parking brake is on. Brake set. And looking for the, look, the low oil pressure light has come off. Right, Engine gas temperature is climbing very nicely. Left, Thank you. And we'll go to flaps 10. Looking here for 115 volts on there. We have it. So now we are set. So anti-collision light is on. And we're being asked to verify our takeoff speeds 
is 147, the small adjustment there. Go back to legs. Now, push down on those. We are now using the electricity generated by the main engines. So now we can turn the air conditioning back on again, turn the APU bleed off, and now the APU. We are set to taxi. And we need to go straight out that way somewhere. TCAS is on. Your damper is on. Lights are clear across the board. All right, here we go then. Break off. Apply a little bit of power to get ourselves unstuck. to the the taxi line so that we can follow it there we are we're supposed to be safe on this from the kamikazes but you never can tell Just a little bit here. Orbit six one three eight with Romeo ready to taxi IMR. Orbit six one three eight. There's taxi one coming in. One shorter runway one two right via taxi where Tango Yankee whiskey one zero contact tower on one one minor point. With a bit of luck, we may be number one to taxi take two, off. Short runway one two right via taxi with Tango Yankee whiskey one. We're crossing zero, over a runway six, here, so we have to be careful. left and right this is really nicely detailed airport Flybeam have done a very good job with this and the attention to detail is quite remarkable look at this there's even water puddles on the taxiway well travel to very nicely done continue taxi orbit 1422 continue taxi well travel 2675 hold position caution the bombardier crj 700 on final orbit 1422 hold position caution the bombardier crj 700 on final Oh, there's something coming in over there. Minneapolis ground, orbit 4080, taxi to the gate. Orbit 4080, taxi to gate, Charlie 2-1, via taxiway Alpha Charlie Quebec. Taxi to gate, Charlie 2-1, via taxiway Alpha Charlie Quebec, orbit 4080. see somebody coming in on final perhaps we'll get our clearance before I'll ask for clearance Minneapolis Tower Ryanair 186 ready fly FR departure runway 12 right Ryanair 186 hold short runway 12 right traffic is Bombardier CRJ 700 on final hold short runway 12 right Ryanair 186 well, that was that. I thought we might be able to sneak in, but air traffic control always has the last word. <laughs> oh, well. And we'll... And here we are at A2. 
10 we'll just make our put our nose in here so that we will be number one to take off when we are given the clearance interesting there's a propeller airplane there that's just been sat on by world travel jet <laughs> what do you know well as, as soon as it's oh well now that jet has moved and now it's just a propeller plane Let's see who gets to be first off here then. We're now showing 30 frames per second. It's gone up. It's not bad, not bad at all. Right, engines, continuous, lights, check. Good. All lights are on. Ryanair 186, cleared for takeoff, runway 12 right. Cleared for takeoff, runway 12 right, Ryanair 186. Here we go. Clock is on. Going to 121.8 Pacifica 144. And taxiing into position here. There's the runway, it's all clear. All right, advancing the power to N1. We have good power. Toga button is pushed. And we're rolling.
somewhat of a mist at the moment. We did contact Aetis.
six right. So we're all set up. Now going to flash one. Thank you. 
we for landing. Lights are on, continuous, and we are set. I have control. <laughs> Get out of the way. Taxiway here too. Five, six, two, one. Taxi to the gate. 
orbit 5, 6, 2, 1, taxi to gate Alpha 2, 4, via taxiway, Papa 8, Papa Echo, Delta, Mike, Alpha, Sierra. Now we are looking. Alpha 2, 4, using taxiway, Papa 8, Papa Echo, Delta, Mike, Alpha, Sierra, orbit 5, 6, 2, 1. For gate A29. Denver, ground, Pacifica, 1, 4, 2, 5, with Sierra, ready to taxi IFR. Pacifica, 1, 4, 2, 5, taxi to and hold short of runway, 1, 7, right, using so, taxiway, Kilo, Bravo, we'll Sierra, cross Kilo, over Bravo, here, Denver, Mike, Niger, and then go Kilo, right, one, three, two, to get down three, to the A ready. section. Taxi, hold short, runway, 1, 7, right, using taxiway, Kilo, Bravo, Sierra, Lima, Bravo, November, Mike, Niner, Pacifica, 1, 4, 2, 5,
29 is on the other side of this. Cass is now off. Instruments are all off. Denver, ground, Pacifica, Niner, zero, six, Niner, taxi to the gate. Pacifica, Niner, Doors zero, are six, open. Niner, taxi to gate, Alpha, Stairs are there. Taxiway, Papa, eight, Papa, Echo, Delta, Mike, Alpha, November, Kilo. Taxi to gate. Right, we have arrived. This is a big airport. Actually, it would have been rather fun to have gone underneath that bridge over there. What do you think? Oh, well. Taxiing under it would probably be permitted, but I'm not sure that they would let me fly underneath it. Spoil sports. Well, Conductor Hall, I hope that you liked the choice of scenery that we used the airport scenery is really really quite good from flight beam and uh, I'm just amazed by all of the the detail of it we came into a24 rather than a29 and I hope that you'll forgive me for that I was just at the wrong side couldn't get to the other side of that one not without going all the way around again so we made it we made it in one piece that's always good we also made a fairly decent landing that's not bad either so I will see you all on the next flight with Ryanair 186 shutting down and and off we are shut down complete bye